In this Throne and Liberty video, I bring you a quick guide on how to defeat the secret dungeon boss of Scorpos. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus a Lucent. If you want to win it, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active in the comment section of my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. So Scorpos is the secret dungeon floor 12 boss. And while there's a certain few things you can do which will make this boss a walk in the park for you. So to start you need to hit the scorpion and then have it follow you into that quicksand. Upon you doing this, the fight with Scorpos then starts. Now Scorpos has a few annoying mechanics which you can easily avoid. The first with a perfectly timed dodge or block and you should be fine. Uh, if not you get stunned via a projectile that shoots out of his tail. Or if you're close to him, he'll hit you with that tail, stun you on the spot where he gets like, I don't know, about 3 or 4 seconds of free blows to you. So a perfectly timed dodge here or block will eliminate this. He has another move which he uses less often, uh, but if you keep your distance from him, he will go into the sand and try and sneak attack you. This also can stun you. Now the major advantage you get with this boss is being able to stun him upon him going into his next damage phase, which is his worst. So this phase consists of him spawning three scorpions and Scorpos himself disappearing into the sand. Now here guys, you can stun him to a point of being able to lay down a ton of damage on him between 5 or 10 seconds of you doing this. And what you need to do guys is quite simple. So when he goes into the ground and those three scorpions are chasing you down, you need to watch where he goes and track him. It's quite easy because there's like a purple glow of particles which follow him. Now wherever these particles end up, you'll see that a quicksand spot will spawn there. Now there are three quicksand spots in total here, but only one is where the boss lies. And again, that is where those purple particles ended up. Here guys, you need to kite, you need to lead those three scorpions into that quicksand where those purple particles were last seen. If you only lead one or two scorpions in, it will not stun the boss. You need to lead all three scorpions into said boss. If you do this correctly, he will basically come out the floor and he will be stunned. If you don't do this correctly, he basically jumps out the ground and stuns you. This can be a devastating attack. If he lands on top of you, can almost one hit you. He did it to me a couple of times, so keep that in mind. But yeah, once you get this down, guys, the fight's quite easy. Sometimes within the second part of this fight, he will spawn in a couple more scorpions that attack you while he is attacking you. Here, I'd probably concentrate on taking out the smaller scorpions first before doing more bust damage. But yes, it's actually quite basic when you get it down and I hope this helps you out if you are struggling. On screen now guys you'll see a start to finish run of me taking out this boss. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.